Five on Your Sideline is sponsored by Side and Stricker Novi John Deere. Well, there's nothing quite like playoff hockey, and we saw a fun one last night at Enterprise Center. As the Blues advanced, welcome into Five on Your Sideline. I'm Corey Miller. And I'm Hannah Yates. The Blues advanced to the second round, and we break it all down coming up. But first tonight, we shine some light on the prep scene. Corey, up first. All right, first up, we got to highlight the Francis Howe baseball program. Coming into today, they are an impressive 27-8 and eight on the season. They also have the area home run leader in Brett Northfleet, who's committed to be a tight end for Mizzou in college. And their legendary coach, Tony Perkins, recently eclipsed 600 career wins. 2022 looks like a special year for the Vikings. The John Burroughs baseball team is looking for its first district title since the early 2000s, and they're well on their way. The Bombers went 23 and 4 this season with just one roster, senior on their roster rather. Burroughs coach Scott Deacon says this is one of the best teams he's ever been a part of, and it comes down to a mentality established early on. Our senior, John Bucca, um, talked and he said um, one of his quotes was, um, if we, if we have fun and we, and we play for each other, um, we're going to win a lot of games. Uh, and, and that's what we've done. We've got some new state champs in town to recognize. The SLU Junior Billikens took home the state rugby crown this past weekend, knocking off rival Rockhurst from Kansas City, who were throwing some trash talk the Bills' way. After a slow start this season, SLU defended their title and are building their way to a dynasty and their hard-fought championship over the the chirps from Rockhurst, that's just the latest high point. I think that's kind of why we, uh, we played so well, because we're just like, you know what, we're not going to chirp them back. We're just going to let them see what we can do, and uh, we, we hit them back. It was just really satisfying to know, like, even their coaches were chirping us, so it was just satisfying to know that we finally beat them, and they can't really do anything and have our game back us up. I feel like uh, it's been a dynasty long before I was been here and just keeping the dynasty up is what my job is. I knew they were way better than they were playing, and so it was really gratifying to see them figure it out and believe in themselves and get the job done. In other Junior Bills news, Five on Your Side has learned that Mike Jones has been relieved as his duties as head football coach at SLU. The former Missouri Tiger and Rams Super Bowl hero went 17-28 and in five years at SLU, leading the team to a 7-4 and record last season. The Clayton girls lacrosse team is set on making a run following their 9-5 finish. It's a drastic improvement from their 6-9 record last season, and there's one main reason why. Senior Paige Walrisher set a personal goal of scoring 200 goals during her time with the varsity team, and she did more than that. She leads the St. Louis area with scoring with 110 goals and 29 assists this season alone. That means she's averaging nearly 8 goals per game, and she's one of very few players to do it in this area ever. It felt kind of special to be part of that group. Um, but as far as like going into the season, I think it was really just team goals, not personal goals. Um, really just wanting to build up the team. She's kind of the reason why we are where we are. Um, she's a leader. She's competitive. Her, her drive alone is what helps this team just continue to push forward. And now here's a cool story. Look at these athletes. These are champions from the City of the Champions East St. Louis. This is the Flyer Special Olympics track team and they are dominant. They have won their region and now they have dreams of a state title. Uh, they come out and work hard. They follow the guidance of their coaches. They listen well. And more importantly, it's the discipline that they have. Uh, they're dedicated to the crowd. We work very hard. We keep working. Got to keep working. Get better at everything we do and just keep working hard as much as we can. 